So welcome to another Electronic Cafe Celebrates. And this particular episode, we're looking at an amazing album, The Golden Age of Wireless by Thomas Dolby. For those who don't know, Thomas is an English musician. He's a producer, composer, uh, he's an entrepreneur and a teacher and an all-round smart guy. Uh, he came to prominence in the early 80s. He had some amazing hit singles with She Blinded Me With Science, Hyperactive, um, and, and so he works as a producer and as a session musician. And the album Golden Age of Wireless was finally released on the 13th of May in 82 on EMI. This is quite interesting. They manufactured and distributed the um, album um, supporting Dolby's own label called Venice in Peril, which is obviously due to the fact that Venice is sinking, still is. Um, and he said he wanted to don donate some of the album's um, profits or, um, or part of the label profits to stop the flooding of Venice. You know, it's very cool kind of ambition and um, the album was released five times in different formats and layouts so all five releases appeared on vinyl but only i think the third and the fifth versions appeared on cd with each changing the all of the songs of replacing the album mixes with extended or single mixes and even adding or removing entire songs um you know uh there's, i think there's a track called radio science it had a completely different recording with very prominent guitars um, which was the version used on uh, for the US market. Anyway, despite all that, it is a great album. Um, one of the pioneering albums of the 80s. I think, you know, it really shows Dolby at his finest. A very clever, articulate, smart guy. And this is an album definitely worth investigating. So, yeah, come and celebrate with us. It's um, The Golden Age of Wireless by the brilliant Thomas Dolby. As Andy said, the album was released and chopped and changed five times. Different songs, different running orders. Even arguably his biggest single, She Blinded Me With Science, was a non-album single but included on later versions of the album. It was Thomas Dolby's debut album and his breakthrough album. It was produced by both Dolby and Tim Fries Green, who later produced the classic Talk Talk albums. Dolby at the time was only signed on a publishing deal, so he worked as a studio session musician on the Foreigner 4 album and used that money to fund this album. Lena Lovitch, Daniel Miller and Mutt Lang all played on the golden age of wireless. The album contains the classic singles Europa and the Pirate Twins, Airwaves, Radio Silence, Wind Power and later versions contain She Blinded Me With Science. Dolby is indeed a clever chap. In 1990s, he founded the Beatnik Silicon Valley software company whose technology was used in internet radio and later polyphonic ringtones. As a musician, you may also remember he was on keyboards in David Bowie's classic performance at Live Aid. Thomas Dolby is a synth wizard and this debut is a classic, chock full of sophisticated synth pop. Happy 40th anniversary to the golden age of wireless. Do go check it out. Stop.